Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing the slope of a line. When we say slope, it is the inclination of a line. So let's say this is our line. So it is the slope can be the stiffness of the line. So to further understand, let's have Number one, so the slope, we can find the slope using these two. Number one, the rise over run, or using the formula given to points. Let us first discuss the rise over run. So M indicates our slope. So rise means the vertical change. Over run means the horizontal change. We have here a rectangular coordinate system with our line, straight line. Now we're going to find the slope using the graph. Okay. M, or the slope. The shortcut is first locate the y-intercept. Our y-intercept, check our y-axis, then where it touches the point. So it's here. This will be our y-intercept. And now we're going to test the rise over run. So rise, 1, 2. So that will become 2 over run, 1, 2, 3, 4. four. Reduce in lowest term that is equal to 1 over 2. This will be our slope. Okay, let's check again. First step, locate the y-intercept. It's here. Then, rise, we have to rise, 1, 2. Then the x-intercept, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's why we have 4 in our denominator. Then, Reduce in lowest term, we have 1 over 2. Next, let's say we have this problem. The x-axis and the y-axis. Locate the y-intercept. So, y-axis, it touches here. Okay. So, if we're going to continue our y-axis and of course our line we're going to use our rise over run but in this case we're going to the left that means if we're going to continue going to the left our slope will become negative so we know that the slope here is negative comparing in this given we're going to the right, that's why we have positive one half. So we know that our slope here is negative. So this slope is negative since our x-intercept is located in our x-axis. Therefore, we're just going to we're not going to uh, locate going up. It's okay to locate going down, but therefore indicate our negative sign. So going down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 6 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. Reduce in lowest term, our slope is negative 3 over 2. That will be our slope, negative 3 over 2. Again, going down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, change in our vertical line, and 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 3 over 2. So that is the rise over run. Now, we have here given two points. What if the points are given, not in our rectangular coordinate system? So we can use this formula. This slope is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x 
sub 2 minus x sub 1. Or it can be interchanged. y sub 1 minus y sub 2 all over x sub 1 minus x sub 2. It's okay. Our condition, x sub 1 must not be equal to x sub 2. Why? Because if x sub 1 and x sub 2 are equal, that will give us undefined because our denominator will become zero. Now, let us apply our formula. Find the slope of the line containing each pair of points. So let's say our first point and second point. Okay, let us name it as our x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. Of course, first step, write your formula. So m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. I'm going to use this one. Now substitute. Our y sub 2 is 6 minus y sub 1 is 1 all over x sub 2, x sub 2 is 4, minus x sub 1, x sub 1 is negative 2. Don't forget the sign. Now, 6 minus 1, that is 5, over 4, negative times negative, that is positive, then copy 2. So we now have 5 over 4 plus 2, that is 6. This will be our slope. Next, letter B. This will be our x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. So our m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Substitute. Y sub 2 is 5 minus y sub 1, negative 1, all over x sub 2, x sub 2 is 2, minus x sub 1, 5. So we now have 5, negative times negative, that's positive 1, all over 2 minus 5. That is negative 3. So, we have 5 plus 1, that is 6, all over negative 3. 6 divided by negative 3, that is negative 2. So, our slope is negative 2. So, those are the two ways to find the slope of a line. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV and now you are ready to answer your modules.